Hello, this is Ricardo, and I'm playing Elite Dangerous. Now, what I've been doing is I've been doing the engineer grind. Everybody has been around looking at the Thargoid bases. I thought I'd leave that a little bit till later. And the reason for that is that I haven't unlocked certain engineers that require me to get a, our plated cargo hold. So I went out and I unlocked Marco Gwent, and then I got the invitation finally to Professor Palin. But whilst I was in the area, I realised I hadn't made the pilgrimage, the pilgrimage to Hutton Orbital to get the Hutton Mug. So, the purpose of this video is to document my trip to Hutton Orbital, and don't worry, it's not all going to be there in real time. But to get to Hutton Orbital, see what's there, see what the fuss is about, try and sort of like lay waste to some of the urban myths that, uh, that have been sort of... Um, put around by different people in the community, which are good fun, you know, hey, you got a Hutton Orbital, um, we won't shoot you honest, and you'll get a free anaconda. Um, to go there, see, what's, see what it's all about, uh, and to show people that, you know, even though it's a long trip, it is a rite of passage, it's, it's a worthwhile trip in my, in my experience, um, because you do get some rare commodities that you can then take on and trade and get a bit of extra, extra cash. And there are some good things to see in the system. So as you can see, we're coming up on the first point of interest, which is for the mug. And we're going to take a look as soon as we drop out now to see what that's exactly all about. For the mug. Like, as we know, the Hutton Orbital mug is something that people have been sought after. And they do sell them online as well. So with all that in mind... Let's switch back to what we're actually doing. A few other points of interest as well we'll take a look at later, which is a salvageable wreckage. But we're closing in now for the first point of interest, which is for the mug. Okay, we're going to drop out. And it takes the form of a tourist beacon. And as you'd expect, there's plenty of passenger ships in the area. And you scan the tourist beacon. And as with all these things, you then get presented with a message. So, this details what I've already been saying. Many commanders view this as a rite of passage. And I believe it is. You've got to come here. You've got to do it. You've got to see it. And then post your videos about it online. Hey, why not? Everybody else seems to be doing it. So, with that done, let's go and take some of the danger out of this and finally go and dock at the station. So Hutton Orbital's um, hub, Hutton Orbital Station, is not too far away from that particular point of interest. There's no need to go jumping around, it's right there. And uh, once you get in there and land, you can take a look around the station and see what it has to offer for you. It is an outpost, so you can't go docking your old Anaconda there, unfortunately. All you Anaconda and Corvette drivers. So something the size of a Python, okay, will be perfectly fine. Um, keel back, that sort of thing, and below. So just bear that in mind before you do make that long journey in your honking great big humongous ship that... There's only an outpost here, and you won't be able to dock and get the prized mug. So here we are on our approach. And now we're finally down, we can see what it's got for us. So mission-wise, and I came with a mission, just to make it a little bit worthwhile as well. Quite a healthy set of missions, once alloyed with the station. 
And if you wanted to make additional money, you certainly can. I also turned up as well with quite a bit of cartographic data, although I can't sell it because I'm not too far, I'm t too close to where I was and I can then cash in my bounties. But all that being said, what we really want is the mug, right? And the mug is what's all important. So I'm doing a little bit of ship maintenance because I've seen a bit of action into commodities market and there it is, the Hutton Orbital Mug. As you can see, you can get quite a few ton of that as well to ship off with you. Now you're buying in for 125 credits. Obviously the further away you go from Hutton Orbital, the more that rare item is going to increase in price. But that is not all because you've also got gin. Centauri Vega Gin, or Centauri Mega Gin, I do beg your, beg your pardon. That is at 3,289 credits a ton, of which you can have seven, making this trip quite worthwhile. Stock up, also I found gold is very cheap here as well, 8,322 credits. So if you have got um, a Python or a suitable ship kitted out um, for a bit of haulage, it was like I have about 192 tons of haulage space, then you can make an extra bit of money as well. Sort of makes up for your time spent sitting around doing nothing while you trek on over to Hutton Orbital. So one thing that we haven't seen at the moment is the salvageable wreckage point of interest within the system. And we're going to go take a look at that right now. So from taking off from the platform, it's just on the other side, depending on the rotation of the planet. So you're gonna have to jump out, swing back around, and then exit frame shift, and then drop in and see what it's all about. This doesn't generally take too long. It's only a short distance, as you can see with the distance meter on the left-hand side. swinging around the side of the planet. Your distance decreasing all the time. Remember to keep your speed nice and low so not to overshoot it. And of course your speed is limited because you've taken off from an, an outpost or a station and you're in cro close proximity to that planet. So there it is, salvageable wreckage. So we're gonna get in nice and close now, we're gonna drop out. Here's the marker to slow down. And here we go. And here is the wreckage site. So, wreckage components. So let's get the old scooper out and scoop them up. So yes, getting to Hutton Orbital is a bit of a fag, I grant you. It will take you 45 minutes to an hour, I suppose, really, of in of real time game time, okay? So be prepared, get a cup of coffee and your favorite beverage uh, and be sure to be in for the long haul. But once you're there, like I said, there are a few things that you can look at. And um, I believe it is a worthwhile, at least once in the game journey to try and make. So the canister and components, they're just a little added bonus, I suppose. Well, you don't destroy any of them by bumping into them. And then once you do, you're done with the salvageable wreckage and you've got your mugs and you've got your Centauri gin, it's perfectly up to you, but that's about all that is to look at in this system. And you might as well fly off 5,000 light years away from your starting point in an attempt to lock, unlock Professor Palin, which is what I'm going to be doing now. And then when I finally get back, then, and only then, will I go to the Thargoid site. And perhaps it'll get a bit more quieter around there. More will be discovered online. And then I can bring a, probably a more concise video to you all.
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Ricardo. This has been the trip for the mug at Hutton Orbital. And please look out for more videos in the series.